gives it science and entertainment on and on and on. My brothers and sisters, the legacy of one family continues tonight in our world in the posture of ceremony into the hands and a shot of fame. It is another significant milestone in this journey. It is my hope that this ceremony will become a red event providing more and more deserving members with the opportunity to properly recognize and the investment in the generation of our members. It is my vision that the shock of faith will have a both physical and virtual space, ensuring the history of our beloved group and the legacy of membership, including sponsors, will be readily available for generations. I believe that we have to develop criteria for more individual shots and sponsors section will be fair to the deserving members for the future ceremony. As I prepare to take my seat, and we respect, we gather, and we again. Once again, thank you for entrusting me for the leadership of this great organization. I give you one word.
immediately adopt us. And if but there will be a few of the adoptees who I will be here by. But the family member or the adopting himself in the district that we need to do. I was at the court today. Please come uh, to my right um, and to be the Bible. But at this time, um, I invite uh, Diatrick Davis, granddaughter of Bernard Gay. Thank you. 
by the elite multi expressionist facilitated by his grandmother, Eleanor. As a youngster, she continually took him and other relatives to view the annual Jungle Loop parades. Rory's passion and fascination for Jungle Loop continued to be nurtured by her to the point where she allowed him to convert a chicken coop in Bayard into his first Jungle Loop chapter. Rory's participation in Jungle Loop has spanned over the past four decades. He credits David Kide Johnson in being instrumental in ensuring that he obtained a solid foundation, learning the fundamentals of using shares to printing great paper and pasting. Rory participated initially as a member of the Saxons and in the later years as a member of the one family Jungle Loop community organization in the roles of belly, free dancer, off-the-shoulder dancer, lead costume, chief marshal, and costume builder. Rory is a founding member of the One Family Jump Room organization and is a former chairman of the group's steering team. He is a founding member, member of the Jump Room Corporation of the serving as a chairman of the Rules Committee for the past seven years. Rory is extremely proud of being a part of a contingent that is responsible for implementing the People's Love and Unity Rush held on Independence Point. A highly anticipated and attended official event of the celebrations. He is also a proud founding member of the Jungle Book Development Association, an entity that has been privileged to have honored hundreds of Jungle Books over the past. Ladies and gentlemen, Rory and Sam. Yes, sir. 
Gannett and Omaru Shaw, Dr. Alena and David Leeds, and grandfather to Yara and Omaru Shaw, and Mia and David Leeds. I present to you Cupid and
in a variety of ways. Darrell studied the craft and the feet of many of the great legends of the day, soaking up their lessons and applying his own creative genius to this cultural art form. Their nearby jungle shack of jungle legend, one Bernard Gay Davis, became his second home. And the lessons also learned from other jungle giants of the day, the young Darren absorbed and became fully grounded in Jacqueline. Darren's first Jacqueline today was on Bay Street, was at the age of 10 as a scrapper, and he made his first formal performance with the Saxons in 1983 under the theme, Birds of a Feather, the they group of neighborhood friends. Thus began one of the most outstanding and transformative Jacqueline careers of our day. For the next 10 years, Darren on Bay Street among his childhood friend Gerard McKay. As attending dancers to Percy Willow Francis and brought many proud pleasing high energy dance performances to Bay Street. The trio became famous and is considered to be the original showtime on Bay Street. Some of the most memorable performances include Batman and Robin, as well as same origin species, their scarecrow and that feed the nation. The opening of Central Bank, police officers come back with us. Let the world know that the promise is our pride and joy, and the list goes on and on. In 1993, Darren's deep belief that all gifts, including Jungle, should be used to better one's community led him, along with others, to form the One Family Jungle and Community Organization with a firm commitment to using Jungle with a mantra, it is important to win on East Street as it is to win on Bay Street, said Jackson Burnside. In 2000, Garrett became the third chairman of one family and was the youngest to hold that office. He is the longest serving chairman of the group for 10 years. Under Garrett's leadership, one family's vibrant community outreach program proudly recorded the donation of three bulletproof vests to the Royal Bahamas Police Force in February 2000. April 10th, 2000, in the Mall of Marathon, co-sponsorship along with the College of Bahamas, the Zonta Club of Nassau, and the YEAST program of a two-day workshop on marginalized boys and the highly acclaimed annual jump from summer camp, Rush to Learn. Darren's high-spirited personality and charismatic ability to relate to all ages led to a rapid growth in the membership of my family, and even after his championship, his creativity and consistent innovative ideas, as well as his total commitment to Jungkook and One Family, has propelled One Family as a force to be reckoned with. Darren's reputation is now legendary, and as a mark of profound respect, he is, up to this day, referred to by many Jungkooks from all groups simply as chairman. He is particularly known for his creative approach to Jungkook, motivational spirit, unique costume. Among Darren's Jungkook accolades is his first place finish in the Office Shoulder category in 1991 with the costume I Hunt, and in 2007, first place free dancer award. He's also won other notable awards in the Office Shoulder category. As chairman, he led one family to several wins in the Jungkook parade, including the group's first and second and two straight wins. In 2000, Darren was a founding member of the Jungkook Development Association which founded the Independence People's Love and Unity Rush. The People's Rush, as it is now called, is now the third largest annual parade in New Providence, attracting thousands each year. In 2003, the Jungle Development Association created the Independence Jungle Achievement Awards, which honor outstanding Jungle Today, more than 100 Jungle News have been honored with the iconic Aten Marine Jacket. These events held on Bay Street on Independence Morning has become not only a fixture on the Jungkook calendar, but are now also official events on the Independence calendar. In 2014, Darren was also inducted into the National Jungkook Legend Circle for his outstanding contributions to Jungkook and the development of culture. At that time, he was the youngest person to be inducted in the Legend Circle. The Jungkook 
Big D. Take a break. 
straight from the U.S. and boy, I was the hell was it. It was worth it, you know. So I just want to tell Pop, you know, I'm so proud of you. Nobody's more deserving of this than you, and you, you were right, you know, it's, you, you deserve it. Good night.
see silver, and then you also see Ali. So I think it is fitting that as we induct Ali, silver would read a Bible. <laughs>
multiple second and third place finishes, and she is known for her spectacular costume. She is an iconic figure on Main Street. Ladies and gentlemen, I present Ali.
we would like to recognize the sponsor or the sponsors that were being inducted into the Shadow Fair. Without the sponsors,
organization. Uh, I want to, you know, give all of our best regards to the inductees. You have made jumping what it is today. Yeah. And uh, you should be very proud of all of the years, the sweat, the toil, the joy, the exuberance, and uh, everything you bring to Bishop. So congratulations, everyone. Thank you.
things that one family has accomplished and done over the years. And to be honest with you, it's more to come. Yeah. Thank you very much. My schoolmate, Darren Bastiat. Good evening, everybody, once again. But let me just say that this opportunity to be a delegate in the hands that's is definitely, definitely a pleasure. But I would not have been able to be here, I wouldn't be here with my wife and my children.
still look sad. Let's go through Mason's edition because we are in a story that some people leave the success. And we drove through Mason's edition and we met a very prominent Saxon who was in the street and we said, we hear some people leave our room. And he said, oh, we just trimming some fat off the meat. And we only shaking some dry leaves off the tree. And we said, oh, okay, then, no problem, nothing to worry about. And we drove through Mason's edition out to East Street and down East Street and coming across the road, out of Taylor Street was Rory and Gay. And we said, we said, we hear some people leave our group and they say, yeah, that's us. <laughs> and I still said, well, if you want some place to have, the foot to have a meeting where nobody could overhear you or know what you're doing, you're welcome to come to ours. And that Saturday, the 16th of January, 1993, the first steering team meeting was held. Oh! 
around here for years. And it's so pleasant to see it. And I think change is good sometimes. I think uh, we can see the energy that our chairman brings and man, the, the new ideas, ideas that he brought to this organization. The function that we have and the uh, I mean, it, it was the first. And tonight, we're experiencing the first. And we can say that we were there when it happened.
Thank you. 